Madam Support, Ms. Biggs. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good evening, Commissioners. On Friday, uh, staff and I met with representatives from Mid Air Force Base to discuss a blanket IGSA. The Intergovernmental Services Agreement is the mechanism under which Mr. Stalvey and his team currently operate Moody's Wastewater as well as the mechanism under which we operate Quiet Pines. Um, Moody would like to pursue a blanket agreement which would allow them to um, choose any projects within a defined scope of work that we would help them through the bid and the project management process. And as you remember with some of the recent work that we've added after Hurricane, Hurricane Idalia to Mr. Stalvey's a project list, there is a percentage on top of those project costs that they pay us for managing those projects. So there's a small revenue stream there as well as it helps Moody by getting things done quicker and in many cases cheaper. So we would like to explore a blanket agreement. There are other blanket agreements across the country. We would not be the first, but there are not many. Um, after speaking with John Yunus, he feels that we would be able to most likely have this before you in four to six months. Um, as well as have the DOD signed off on the same if this is something that you all are interested in moving forward with. Um, staff is certainly on board, so we'll be looking for additional direction from you at a future date. Um, also, the building dedication for Second Harvest is tomorrow at 10 a.m. That is the new site that, out, that is out near Martin's Bakery. If any of you need an address for that, please let me know, but we hope that you can all be there at 10 a.m. Uh, this first Friday, the historic courthouse, Ms. Bark and her team are hosting an event um, at the request of some of our downtown businesses for the Issues Film Festival. Um, and that will begin around 6 p.m. So first Friday is a great opportunity to come down and see the film crowd at the historic courthouse as well as enjoy our beautiful downtown. Um, also on Friday morning at 8.30, we will be at Lowndes High School, actually maybe a little earlier than that. HR will be there for our Lowndes High School career fair. Um, we continue to pursue opportunities to hire those young people directly out of the high school and provide some workforce as well as opportunity for them to stay here in our community. Uh, Friday is also National Employee Appreciation Day. So Ms. Barwick has worked with her team and a local baker to provide treats for all of our county employees. So if you hear back from any of them, Miss um, Julie Powell with uh, friends will be making whoopie pies for all of our employees. And we've got a, a note that goes along with that for them. So thank you, Megan, for pulling all that together as well as the department <coughs> that will be helping her. On Saturday, if the weather holds, we will have the mayor and chairman's paddle at Langdale Park. So if you're used to showing up for that to paddle or, uh, like me, just show up to, to wish everyone off, it is not at the traditional location. It is at Langdale Park, and Miss um, Cummins and her team are working to get that drive worked in there. So it will be a smooth drive. You'll be able to show up in the car if you need to. Um, also, the latest draft of the service delivery strategy legislation is before you. That's what I handed out before the meeting. Um, the chairman and I have been in contact with Representative LaHood um, pretty much around the clock the last 24 hours. There's been several updates. Things have been moving fast. I'd like, fast. I'd like to thank Walter for um, his help in, in checking our work and us looking at those recommendations. Um, I heard from John just before the meeting that they were out of session and they were moving into committee. Um, so what you have is a current draft of the bill with some changes that are marked by line. Um, by in the morning, I hope to have an updated draft of the actual bill. Um, if, if something doesn't happen in the next day or two, it's not going to make it. Um, but, but we feel like that GMA and ACCG have come to a compromise. Um, what we have looked at on that so far is not anything that will hurt the county. It's certainly not everything that we asked for, um, but we're certainly not going to end up in a bad place. And Representative LaHood um, has worked probably as hard as anyone could be expected to on the county's behalf where this is concerned, which I know has not been an easy thing for him, being that he represents the city's interests as well. So if any of you talk to John or have an opportunity to shoot him a text, if you'd like to thank him for his good work, it certainly has been tremendous. And that completes our Questions for Ms. Davis?